So here's my first plate. I got some uh, sweet and sour chicken. I got some sushi, different kinds. They have ribs. There's uh, roast beef. Um, I got some Korean ribs. I got General Tao chicken, pineapple chicken, some chicken and broccoli. Taking a picture with our food. Yeah, I'm taking a picture. Yeah, yeah. and uh, some uh, coconut shrimp, which is my favorite. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. It's very sunny today, so I'm gonna be squinting. But today, we are just gonna to go to a Chinese food buffet, which has a hibachi grill and a sushi component as well. So this is in Buffalo, and the name of it is Friendly Chinese Buffet. So very, very suiting. So I'm gonna assume they're friendly here. I just hopped over here for supper. I'm gonna meet my good friend, Mr. George Lobianco here. So we're gonna go eat some food. Hopefully it's good. It's like uh, about $13 for lunch on a Friday, or sorry, supper on a Friday, 13 bucks. So it's I think reasonable. So uh, let's go eat some food. So here's my first plate. I got some uh, sweet and sour chicken, I got some sushi, different kinds, they have ribs, there's uh, roast beef, um, I got some Korean ribs, I got general Tao chicken, pineapple chicken, some chicken and broccoli. I'm taking a picture with the, our food. Yeah, I'm yeah. taking a picture, yeah. yeah. And uh, some uh, coconut shrimp, which is my favorite. Got George here crushing some food. What's up guys? I didn't even set up my camera yet, I already started eating. I had my first plate uh, done, it was, it was pretty good. Uh, a few items weren't as hot as I would have liked. Here's some, uh, I don't know what you call it, sweet and sour chicken. Not bad. You know, taking, we're definitely taking into account that it's an all you can eat and it's 13 bucks. So far, not bad. We do have lots of items though, so we try trying a lot more. Well, the sushi's pretty good. Mushroom ribs here we'll try. Kimchi. And then we're gonna get more food. Plate three for me. Plate four. Here's George's plate. Looking good. Kind of, I guess makes it exciting, right? Hey, you can watch see. Everybody, and I think it's about time I hop on in here, give you some feedback, give you some information. So, friendly Chinese buffet, or happy friendly Chinese buffet. Um, so it was a, overall a pretty good spot. Where it really gains its points is the absolute value. This was a dinner menu on a Friday night, and it was only a thirteen dollars. So lunch was cheaper, dinner on a Friday, thirteen bucks. So that gives me a lot of uh, that gives a lot of points. Let's be honest. So there's kind of like the sushi area, there was the Mongolian grill area, then kind of the kind of the more, more traditional buffet area, which consisted of um, both kind of Chinese and American options. So I would say uh, the sushi, I'll start with that. It wasn't great quality by any means, but it didn't taste bad, if that makes sense. If you've had good sushi, there's good sushi, then there's not good sushi. But that doesn't mean it's like bad, like spoiled, it's just not great sushi. Sushi was okay, but I still enjoyed what I had. They had a large variety of kind of fruits, um, reasonable variety of Chinese and, Amer and kind of more Americanized items such as ribs, roast beef as well. I didn't use the Mongolian grill. Um, overall, again, for 13 bucks, it was, that was a good value, good variety. The one complaint I will say is, oh, we found a lot of the foods were not hot. I know this is a buffet, I've been to many, but I mean like, some of the items are literally cold. Desserts were also pretty good too. And at that, enjoy. You're definitely getting a pumpkin pie this year. You want to do that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know what we're signing up for? 
Do you know Bob Shell? Yeah. So he's kind of organized. Okay. My contest is earlier this year, he so said. It's in, I think, like late September. Okay. Which is fine. Yeah. I mean, like, because that's a, that's a lot of money. Yeah. Like, you know, so save money. Doing that. So, I would do it. I would totally do it. Oh, I don't blame you. But, uh, I'll probably start the game after the game after all. Is that because it works? I don't think they make a sign. I'll be honest. I didn't actually try to sign up, so. Well, theoretically, I have to sign shot. up to know for sure. Yeah. But. I mean, now I'm going to Long Island. And I didn't really consider you. Yeah. I wasn't doing that every time I was seriously considering it. Yeah. So I'll just see how it goes. All right. Okay, it's a game. First inning, they got they got three runs off. I got zero. Stop with the strike. Is he going to see? Yeah. Sure, just sugar it out. Go on. Seven, I have three and three and two. I gotta get him. How's this compared to your, your uh, the other places you go to? It's good. Um, they got different stuff at the other ones. Yeah. They got like teriyaki chicken and that kind of stuff. Like a better? No, I like them both. They're both really good. I definitely come back here again. About the same price as the other place, right? Yeah. Actually, I think it is the same price as the other one. I don't know. Well, there you go, I'll have to try it. Yep. Yeah, then, then so like I said, I'm actually like, I'll be back in, in Buffalo for sure. Next weekend. Right, next, next Friday. Oh, nice. So, uh, cause what I'm actually doing, So again, I'll be working in Fort Erie. Yep. So I'm taking a bus down to Long Island, or sorry, to New York City. And I can leave from Toronto, but as I'm already at Fort Erie for the day, it'd be way further to go all the way home and it's Toronto yeah. versus just come to Leo, Leo Buffalo. Yeah. So I'm just catching the bus out of uh, Buffalo here. Yeah. So um, basically, the bus leaves, it's picking up at the airport at about 11 o'clock. So I have like, from, probably, I'll probably be over here at 5 p.m. Just got off of it, let's say 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. So if we wanted to try the endless apps or even just go to Sonic or something. Yeah, yeah, we definitely do something. I, uh, I, I definitely want to try Sonic. Yeah, I'm down for Sonic Jump. So they have this like Carolina Reaper Ghost Ghost Pepper Slushy. Did you see Badlands do that? Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So like it was hilarious. Like he's like it's like, it's a hilarious video. Cause it's like he's burning him. He's having like a hard time with that. Yeah. That would seem so uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, it's weird because it's so hot, but it's so cold and like. Yeah. So what I want to do, I want to try it.
Oh, he, he, likes, he likes like legit. Spicy stuff. I think I like spice. But I'm not like a ghost pepper either. And it's not like he is big time. But, but he likes hotter stuff than me. He's better with it, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, it's, like, it's kind of cool, it's like a driver, you know what I mean? Yeah. My friend made the inside sign for uh, the Sonic restaurant. I yeah. know. Yeah, so they're the first Sonic restaurant to have an inside uh, window. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. The other thing, too, where I don't know for how long, I think it's for like the summer. Or it shows an end date on it, but they also have like all the drinks and the milkshakes. They're 50% off if you order off your phone. So do they download the app? No. So I mean, like. Imagine slushies are overly expensive anyway. Yeah. So let's say the big ass one's four bucks and two bucks. Like it's pretty cheap. Oh, yeah. So I wouldn't feel bad trying you know, a couple items. No, mm -hmm. Much mental, you know. Now in contests, you generally don't like. Well, let me rephrase that. In contests, your body, your head, and our body will tell you, like, yo, stop eating. You know, for the contest, it's also only ten it's minutes. Very short. Or, yeah, you know, like here, you know, where we're eating for. Like, For a buffet, you know. Yeah. You don't expect to make cookies at a buffet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I sent you a picture of those cookies I bought at Walmart. Mm -hmm. They're like fudge peanut butter cookies. Oh, the ones that uh, Darren went to go get? Yeah. <laughs> you try those out? No, but I'm going to stop there in like the next two days, so I'm going to get some. It's literally like, I think, 96 cents for the box. It's, it's dirt cheap. 
and like they're super sweet. Pretty my calories. That's better than well, at least like pretty damn well worth a dollar. Oh, right. I'm a big coconut fan. So it's, I mean, it's a little bit more, not much, like a dollar for you for the pound. Oh, that's not good. You know, they've got a Walmart coconut cookie. It's pretty good. I'll probably go buy it. Yeah, that was the best. I like the blue. See if I can get some more uh, fake Mountain Dew, too. Oh, yeah. Mountain Holler or whatever it is. Or I forgot what the top spray is. Uh, is there a top spray, too? I think there's a top spray. Oh, yeah? I'll go look at her. If they have a diet one. Because Walmart, I find they're always out of the. There's a diet Mountain Dew. They're always out of it. Yeah. Do you guys have Kroger here? No, Kroger's more down south. Mm -hmm. They have a Michigan, Michigan too. And they have a, a, a fake Diet Mountain Dew and a fake Diet Mountain Dew Code Red. That's why I bought that. It's really good. No, I like that a lot. No, I bought a lot of Ten bottles of Kroger Fig It's just crazy how much really goes into it. You know what I mean? I really need a cardio aspect as well. Yeah. Yeah. People don't realize. They can up on Nathan's. I think 10 minutes of cardio is cardio. Oh. You can't breathe out. Yeah. There's probably a knack right now. Yeah, yeah the man, my breathing's like this. It's so shallow. like... Because my stomach, I once can't, like even right now, like, you know, I can't even take a super super deep breath because my, my food, my stomach is taking up the room of my cavity. Yeah. My lungs can't fully really expand. Yeah. So you gotta get used to like, you know, good cardio, better efficiency. Yeah. So you can keep going harder without having to stop to breathe. Yeah. You know, it's like late in a challenge, you'll see me go, start breathing in my mouth like, because I can't find this man. You got me. And, uh, you know, so she's like cardio components, right? Speed. Fashion. Yeah. Make sure that you can't really do mm -hmm. yeah. People are the best. Like, they were so much in the I know people don't realize that they just think, oh, you're a blood. Like, <laughs> like, not exactly. Well, it's like, let's be honest, right? Like, uh, food charges, some of the bigger ones, you know, like, not really in there, really. Yeah, the food charges, to an extent, are doable. Yeah. Even they're small. Yeah. And so a lot of people say shit, and they go, you get to pick, like, your food challenge or what kind of challenge you prefer or something. Yeah, the food is good. It's like smaller. But it's still probably five pounds in. Yeah. Just because it's not like so extreme that you feel like you can die. Yeah. Yeah, around the same.
you know, it's one thing that impresses me. I, I don't know how you can go so long without burping. Like with me, like I burp all the time. What did you gain the other night? I wish I burped. Yeah. Interesting stuff, man. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, like, I know that I need it. I'm not sure. Yeah. Did I tell you about the one time? It might even after I saw you last. Do you know the time I did this, the last time I did sushi buffet and I like pointed like kind of way too much? No. Did I tell you about that? No. I learned, but I can only imagine the cost of like. I never actually do that video. I should try to tabulate the cost. Like, like, the amount if I would have ordered off the menu. Maybe it would be over 500 